So let's do this. The NFC East, and we're going to start off with the favorites in the division. That would be the Dallas Cowboys. They went 8-8 eight and eight last year. Win total right now is set at 10, and the over and under are juiced the same. It is minus 110 on both sides. To win the division, minus 120. So they are a sizable favorite here. Coach Mike McCarthy jumping in for his first season. Uh, the offense was already ridiculous last year. Uh, and then they bring in CeeDee Lamb in the draft. I mean, they did, they were gifted. Just gifted him. I mean, good gracious. Uh, let's, let's dive through some of the numbers here. Um, offensive yards per play, 6.5. They were number one in the NFL last year in yards per play. Just unbelievable. Defensive yards per play. Gave up 5.2. That was number nine in the NFL. And this is where they ran into problems. Turnover margin. Mm. Gave up 0.1 turnovers per game. That was number 18 in the league. That was a problem. Um, and and they, just had, they just had issues. I mean, it, it, look, Jason Garrett, just not great, right? Defense brought in a lot of defensive line help. Don Terry Poe, Everson Griffin. Uh, and then they lost. Um, I didn't write his name down because I knew I was going to remember it. Now I forgot it. Wait, what's the guy that got hurt? Uh, Gerald McCoy. Right. Gerald McCoy. Yeah, he, yeah. he gets hurt. He's out. They waived him, whatever. But they, they brought in a bunch of older kind of veteran guys just to make sure that the defensive line is kind of shored up. I don't think they're going to be great on defensive line, but I think they'll be okay. They I don't just, think they shored it up at all. They just cut Haha ha Clinton Dix at safety that they brought in and signed yep. and paid, gave a guarantee of $2.25 million. He was owed like three point whatever million. Uh, he's going to – Cost like one point five million against the cap, I think something to like play, that to play zero games. So they cut him, but did they cut him so that they can go get Earl Thomas, or did they? I, I'm curious what they're trying to do here because you you don't cut the guy a week before the season starts unless you got some kind of a plan, right? Yeah. Um, it, my my question here: Can Mike McCarthy improve on what Jason Garrett did? And I think that's not even a question. I think Mike yes. McCarthy is an absolute adult in the room, as you like to say, as opposed yes. to Jason Garrett, who was just. A cheerleader. A, yeah, that's all he was. He was a cheerleader. He was just a cheerleader. And in the NFL, you cannot be just a cheerleader. You have to be able to solve problems when your coordinators cannot. I have got them going 11-5 and five this season. I like the Ooh. schedule. I like the team. I think Dak, in a, in a contract kind of year, a franchise tag kind of year, I think they are going to play really well. They got weapons everywhere, man. I mean, they're just – their offense, I think, is going to – at maybe improve on what they did last year. I mean, 6.5 yards oh, of play yeah, yeah. is unbelievable. So. Like, just ridiculous. So, I think they're going to be just fine. Um, like, I, I really like this team, especially in this division, because there ain't there ain't nothing in this division, man. All right. So, liking them in this division is totally different than liking them in their league, okay? Agreed. But I think the schedule this is, sets this up is well. a, Hang on. This is a Big 12 football team. This is what this is. And Oklahoma... And Texas can beat up on the on the weaklings of the Big Twelve a lot, but when they go to the SEC, when they go to the Big Ten, when they go to the ACC, they get their ass handed to them. I think that's going to happen a lot. I got this team. Realistically, I had them ten and six, but then I saw the number was ten, and I was like, mm, no, I'm going to give them nine and seven. This team is a nine and seven football team. That's okay. it. But it's not Mike McCarthy's fault. They have not spent any time or money really planning for the defense. All these guys on the defense are old, hadn't played in several years, all have problems, and and you just can't build it. Bill Belichick just took all his old guys and said, you all have COVID, go home. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Let me tell you the difference between how one team is being ran and how the other team is being ran, okay? They're going out and getting those old-ass guys, and they're going to try to say, hey, we're going to be in track races. We're going to score fast. We're going to score often. But that means you're on the field a lot. Oh, yeah, great. Let's put a bunch of geriatric dudes out there that haven't <laughs> taken snaps in a couple of years. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't bring up Alden Smith or any of that. I mean, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't think that's what you want. I think this football team is going to be crazy fun to watch, just like Big 12 football is crazy fun to watch. Bet, bet a lot of overs. I, yes, I think they're going to score a lot. I really do. But I think other teams are going to score on them too. But the difference is, is the NFL is just better at stopping you. And it's not one of those things where I have to hold you under 50. But if I know I can score 53, I just need to make one stop. Yeah. I, I just need to make one stop. And I win the game. I'm not saying teams are going to blow them out. Because when you can score the way I think they're going to be able to score, then then I think 
they're going to be fine. They got to figure out something with the turnovers. That's oh, a yes. problem. Oh, that's, that's absolutely because on this defense, if you give the other offense extra possessions, and you have a not good old defense, that's not going to work out real well. Agreed. It's just not. Let me uh, let me roll through some of the schedule right quick to open the season. They've got at the Rams, the Falcons, at the Seahawks, Browns, Giants, the Cardinals, at Washington, at Philly, Pittsburgh, at the Vikings, Washington, at Baltimore, at Cincy, the 49ers, Philly and the Giants. I, there's not a game on there that I don't think that they can find a way to win. That's why I've got them at 11 and 5. Now, there are obviously they're not going to go 16 and 0. That's just not how it is. And I am not a Cowboys fan in the slightest. Uh, for those that watch the show, you all know that I am a Steelers fan, but I do think that this Cowboys team can be pretty good. But you you've got them too. at 9 and 7, huh? Yeah, I, officially I got them at 9 and 7. Um I, I, they're probably a double digit win team, but they're going to be fun to watch. Oh yes, and offensively they're going to be good. But this is the NFL, man. You got to be good on both sides of the ball, or you get sent home. Matt on YouTube said at least Jerry Jones's uh, redheaded stepchild is gone now, and Damian oh. said I can see the Cowboys going eight and eight. I, look, that eight wouldn't eight, shock wouldn't, me. It wouldn't shock me either. I, I think the better it, net. But here's I the think thing: Mike could they lead the league in scoring and go eight and eight? Hang on, what was the Cardinals' record last year? And that's kind of how they played football, uh, right? Went five and eleven. Yeah, they went five and eleven. They scored a lot. And they didn't stop anybody. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. I, I mean, he right. literally took his Texas Tech ways to Arizona. Yeah. It, it just does. It's fun to watch until you can find a way to play defense with that kind of offense. Nobody's been able to do it. Okay. Yes. yes. You're right. You are right. All right. We will move on from there. Let's dive into the New York football giants. Coach Joe Judge heading into his first season, uh, and nobody even knew who he was until he was hired for this job, uh, went 4-12 and last year, and obviously Coach uh, Coach Pat was was let go, and their win total right now sits at 6.5, which seemed like a lot to me. Uh, over is plus 145 to go under minus 165, so obviously they think going under is the more likely play. To win the division, plus 1450. So, probably not happening this year. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumps in and said, Joe, slip and slide, judge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go through some of the stats from last year because that, they, they return a lot. They bring a lot back. Offensive yards per play, 5.4. That was number 20 in the NFL. Defensive yards per play, 5.7. That was number 19 in the NFL. And then turnover margin. And who do I have some stats about that turnover margin? Number 31 in the league. They gave up the ball 1.1 times per game. That is not a good thing. Uh, the question right now is, can you get a big sophomore year out of Daniel Jones? And uh, can can Saquon come back and be explosive after, you know, multiple injuries last year? I mean, he just he could not get right. And he still had 1,400 yards from scrimmage because he was really the only thing that they had. And that that's what kind of scares me is, they were running the kid even though he was injured because the, he was literally the football team. I mean, they they, I'm not saying they gave up a lot for him, but they gave up the number two draft pick. I mean, that's insane. Uh, Joseph jumped in on YouTube, said plus 1450 is still too low. It should be in the 2000s. Uh, DFS Bachelor jumps in. How many push-ups is Joe Judge making his grandpa do today? <laughs> uh, here's, here's my notes on this. Uh, only Carolina and Miami gave up more points in 2019 than they did. Uh, they added linebacker Blake Martinez from the Packers. Safety, uh, safety Xavier McKinney, their second-round draft pick, who they were kind of counting on to come in and start immediately, broke his foot in fall camp. He is out for at least a few months, uh, a couple of months. It, he might come back at the back end of the schedule. By that, it could all be it – uh, yeah, I can't talk. It could all be moot at that point. Um, Daniel Jones. Whew. Can he stop turning the football over? He fumbled the ball. 18 times last year. That is one time for every 45 snaps that they took. That is an astronomical number. That doesn't even include the interceptions. That is just ridiculous. He could not hold on to the football. Uh, and, and my other biggest question, do we trust this coaching staff? And I don't know that we can right now. I don't. We don't know anything about him. But I, I know that he was, what, a special teams coordinator? Well, he, he was the wide receivers coach. Uh, okay. It, if that makes you feel any better. No. The Patriots wide receivers were, what, awesome the last two, three years? 
I mean, they were good, right? They were they were really. Oh no, that's I don't right. understand. They what, were. Terrible. I don't know what Gettleman was doing with this with this hire. Look, this dude, listen, this dude was getting coaching looks in the college world too. I don't. I mean, in, in the is, college this world, this is one of those things. I can this understand. is one of those things where networking has got to just be so important. I guess. I like guess he's got to be somebody's nephew or grandson or something. I've got him four and twelve. This All year. right, so I'm a little friendlier than you. I got him five and eleven. I don't think they're going to be good. Listen, you so can't either. take an offense, all right? Your defense blows, okay? So you got to be really good on offense. To get really good on offense, you don't add cheerleading Jason Garrett, all right, and Freddie Soup Kitchens, okay? That That is not how you make your offense better. Yes. I'm not a, I'm not a football expert, but I know that ain't going to work. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, it makes no sense. But you've got them 5 and 11, huh? Got them 5 and 11. <sighs> Yeah, that's I don't think this is a good football team. I just don't think it's a good football team. Um, let's move on, and we will dive into the Philadelphia Eagles. Went nine and seven last year. Doug Peterson enters his fifth season. He won a Super Bowl in what his second season, um, and that was when he had Frank Reich. And he, I mean, it just everything came together at that point. Um, nine and a half is your win total to go over plus one ten. You getting positive money to go back if you think that they're gonna win ten games. You can get. Uh, more back than what you what you gamble. That's not bad. To win the division, plus 150. I mean, that seemed kind of short as well. I, I thought this would be at least plus 200, if not a little more. If you go and look at the numbers from last year, offensive yards per play, 5.2. They were number 21 in the league. Defensive yards per play, 4.7. They were number 17 in the league. Turnover margin, they were number 22. They gave up the ball 0.2 times per game. Look, Wentz played all 16 regular season games for the first time last year, which is fantastic until they got into the playoffs and he got knocked out and you had to count on, you know, old man Josh McCown and he got hurt in the middle of the game and still played. Like, it, this whole thing is is nuts. They, they draft Jalen Rager, who is undersized but a burner, and then he got hurt on... Uh, He's like going to miss four to six weeks before the season starts. Yeah, before the season even starts. I mean, it's just, it gets hurt in camp on, like, trying to make a tackle on an interception that Jalen Hurts threw, who was their second-round draft pick, which a lot of people said didn't make a whole lot of sense. But, it, you know, I can get it. I see it. Jalen Hurts is a good kid. I can understand drafting him. He's good for your locker room. But either way, the defense signed Darius Slay and Nikhil Roby Coleman to upgrade the secondary, so I think that's going to help a little bit. Uh, you know, can Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson stay healthy? Miles I don't Sanders, think Alshon's going to start the season. Oh, is he hurt too? Man, alive. All right, so, yeah, it, it, DFS Bachelor jumped in. They were down to wide receiver 6, 7, and 8 last year. I mean, yes, it was ridiculous. Uh, Miles Sanders is, is a good running back, but he ain't good enough to, to just take the whole load. I, I mean, you got to figure something out. Uh, yeah, DFS jumps in and said that. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, did you see Sanu just got cut? Did the Giants pick Judge since he comes from the same tree of uh, where Adam and Eve picked that apple, Belichick? Um, the Garden of Eden? Yeah, that's kind of what Patriots have been like. I guess so. I just guess a so. perfect I, world. I, I don't like what the Eagles have done here. And no, Hell no. And I, you know, I, I still think that they find a way to win nine games. I got them nine and seven, but like I just. I, so I got them six and ten. I don't think this is a good football team. At six and I, ten I, seems closer to right than what I. I don't. Know. I don't think they're a good football team. I. I don't want to give them more wins just because of their name. Okay. I thought about. Oh no, this has got to be more of an eight and eight, nine and you know, ten yeah. team. Well, and, and they but, lose but why? Malcolm Jenkins. Why? Because but, they're the Eagles. Why? Because Carson Wentz has proven that he's so good. No, no. he had half a season where he was amazing. We never I, seen I still, anything like it. I still got like hurt. Fletcher Cox. And the offensive coordinator from then is gone. And Fletcher Cox is like 34 years old. I know he is. I know. I know. And like, they, and they lost Malcolm time, Jenkins. He can't be Fletcher Cox. And at some point in time, it's got to be somebody else to help. Yeah. Because he's a tackle. He's a nose tackle. He plays in the middle. All right? Yeah. It's and, easy and to run left away from him and right away from him. I think okay? I think if I if I had even thought about the Malcolm Jenkins uh, leaving them, like I, I think I might would have done much worse than this. I, you know, I've got nine I and seven. Just don't, I, I out literally I trust Howie the 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 GM of this team he's usually a really smart guy he builds teams really smart really well I don't I don't see it I just don't see it 
But I also do not believe in Carson Wentz. Not one iota, not one bit. The Browns traded away that pick, and I was very grateful for that. Okay? Yeah. I, I just didn't think they were worthy. Either of these quarterbacks were worthy of taking one or two. And so I thought I'd rather not take a quarterback than take one of these guys. And everybody yelled and screamed and said, oh, you eventually you got to take the guy. You just got – you can't just keep waiting. You can't yeah, – you bullshit you can't because they're going to need another quarterback in the next year or two. Yeah, you're right. You're this is right. not a good football team this year. No, I don't think so. Now, now, now they might go out and sign Antonio Brown. Brown. And they, they might go out and sign. If I was them, I would go sign Brown. I would go sign uh, uh, Devontae Freeman. I would, I would – all these – Expat at players that are sitting out there in the ether that hadn't been picked up yet. I if Adrian I was the Eagles, I, I find a way to bring them in my locker room if they are an offensive skill player. I don't think the line is that bad. No, I don't think but the line's I also bad at all. Don't believe it, but I also don't believe in Wentz either. Like I think last year I watched games where McCown played because what's uh Wentz was hurt and McCown looked better than him. That Atlanta Falcons game where they went to Atlanta, both those teams looked like trash the entire game. And Wentz got hurt and went out for a couple of series. And McCown came in and moved them all the way down. And as soon as McCown got him into like the five-yard line, Wentz magically got better and came back in the game. And I thought, y'all are idiots. It is where Doug Peterson's an idiot. Because I'd say, no, sir, we have moved the football for the first time all day with your dead ass on the bench. We're going to see if this old bastard can get it in. Yeah. And he played fine in the playoff game. I mean, he wasn't awful. Yeah, no, he so. he was better than Wentz last year. Are we going to look at numbers? Are we going to look at film? Or are we just going to say, look at the back of the jersey? I mean, at this point, they're they're looking at who has the bigger paycheck, I think. But that's ridiculous. I agree. Do you want to win or do you not? I agree. Uh, because DFS. the guys, at one point in time, they said, we don't care about paychecks. And we don't care about the name on the back of the jersey. And we're going to win a Super Bowl with Nick Foles. DFS said that secondary was awful last year. They should be way better this year. Yeah, I, I think so. You bring in uh, uh, Roby Coleman. Uh, uh, oh, I think yeah. Gonna be the, fine. the secondary is going to be yeah. – the, the guys that they brought in in free agency are going to be good. I mean, Slay, Slay is a beast, man. He's he's awesome. I uh, just don't – I don't think they drafted well this year. And I don't – I just don't – offensively, there's nobody that scares me. No. Miles Sanders is good, but if I stack the box, I think I can beat the hell out of him. Uh Joseph Gomez jumped in and said, the East is so weak. Washington and the Giants are walkovers. Can you really trust the Cowboys? Uh, Damian said, the Eagles are going 5-11, and 11, Giants going 4-12. and 12. DFS said, that front seven is mean. At, mm, you know, they, you lose they Jenkins, were two years ago. Yeah, at, they at, were three years ago. Last year, they weren't. Yeah, they, they weren't that Look, mean. I boosted that front seven so hard the last couple of years. And last year, they just weren't anything scary at all. Yeah, it, it was... I'm so I'm kind of I'm kind of out on this watch. I don't know. We're gonna get to Washington right now. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's do Washington right this second. I disagree very much on that. Um, Ron Rivera, in his first season here, he gets fired from Carolina last year, and and I think for the first time in a long time, Washington has, as Chris would say, an adult in the room. They went three and thirteen last year. Win total is five and a half. To go over is plus 120 to go under is minus 140 to win the division. They are plus 1700 Uh, going back and looking at the stats from last year, number 27 in offensive yards per play, 21 in defensive yards per play, number 14 in turnover. That, that wasn't that bad. Um, This is the chase young show on defense. Now. I mean, he's going to step in immediately. Uh, You just got to see, okay, is he going to get hurt like everybody else on the defense? Because good gracious, Um, you know, they, they've got Jack Del Rio on defense. I trust him. And and I think I mean that they made really good coaching hires. I I like what they did. They I added. Lo- a, I love the way this team is being built. Oh yeah, they added a. They ton are of they vets. are a couple years away. Yeah, but I love the way this team is being built. Added a ton of vets in the secondary. They yep. uh, the offense cut Peterson and Geis and Cody Latimer is gone. Uh, so they don't have a ton of real weapons. I mean they got uh, Terry. Uh, what's the guy's name? McClure. But yeah. Uh, McC- McCle- I don't, I don't McClellan, look, I'm, whatever his name, the, the, yeah, the wide receiver who was pretty good, who seems to yeah. have a pretty Second good year uh, guy, rookie yeah, last year, pretty good chemistry with uh, Dwayne Haskins. I mean, they're both Ohio State guys. That kind of makes sense. This is a foundation building season, uh, which DFS, by the way, came in said number three in the league in rushing defense last year. Yeah, but Stout. that's because they could throw on, them. and that's like, about to, and that's about to get real. That's about to get even better. 
Uh, hey, Maybe he, not better than three, but their numbers overall will be better. He said, uh, time for Chris to pay for his second lap dance or hell, even the classic four for two deal. I got the Eagles with at least eight wins. You taking it? I ain't having it. I'll take that. I ain't worried about that okay. at all. Okay. Okay. Um, and they do they do have three winnable games to start the season against Washington, the Rams, and the Bengals. But go ahead, keep talking keep talking Washington up as a, as just an easy W. Well, here here's the deal. This is a foundation building season to me. I I think it is year zero. They're just trying to get you know front office guys out of there. They're trying to get all kind of people. Just it, they're they're trying to clean up right. And I, I like I like who they brought in as the new team president. You know, right? I think he's awesome. Um, However, I think it's going to be tough because I think there's still some chemistry to be built. There's still guys that they got to get out of this locker room to make the team better. This is foundation building season number one. I've got them 5-11. and 11. It wouldn't surprise me to see them be a little bit better than that because I think that they're going to focus on fundamentals this season. I, think I got them 6-10. The and 10. Okay. okay. I got them 6-10. and 10. It's not great, but it's way better than the seller. All right? And, and, I, and I think they could – that's probably where I think they're going to end up being, 6-10. and 10. Um. Ron Rivera is a legit coach. Okay. Blackjack Del Rio, you got two of the biggest gamblers I've ever seen in my life from the head coaching perspective. All right. Riverboat Ron and Blackjack Rio. Listen, these guys got balls. All right. They got big haunches and they are not afraid to pull them out and show them to you in the game. If they think they can win by just taking a chance, they're going to gamble. So yeah. they might lose big, but but they're also going to have an edge to where if they get a couple of things go right, they're going to beat your ass and you're not going to be expecting it. You're not, you're going to want to know what happened. Okay. They are going to be so much better. I do not believe in Dwayne Haskins. I do not. I think that was a mistake for a draft pick last year. And I, I wish that they had a better option at quarterback. If they had a better option at quarterback, I'd get this team to eight wins. I really um, believe that. Joseph Gomez said, I need to see Haskins for a full year to be a believer. And DFS jumps in. Kyle said that Haskins might throw 25 picks this year. Yeah, that does. It's entirely me possible. He he could he could get close to Jameis's number. I am not a believer in in Dwayne, but the one thing I do wonder is, will they go out and get a quarterback in the middle of the season, one of these veteran guys, and and if Dwayne's not cutting it, will they will they pull the hook on him and 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 say, hey, we need to go forward with somebody else. Because I don't think this team is as bad as you think they are. This team has been drafting at the bottom of the draft for a while, and they've drafted not terribly. Okay, yeah. I, I think they've got a lot of weapons on defense and on offense. A, man, hey, look, look, look. Uh, Antonio Gandy Golden from yep. Liberty and uh, uh, Antonio Gibson. Gibson, the man boy from, from Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Now listen, Memphis is Memphis is due. Memphis is due a good one. All right. Yes. Memphis has had a lot of guys get drafted for a school like Memphis lately, and not a damn one of them has panned out. I think Anthony Miller's been all right, uh, but I mean, it, but when your quarterback is Trubisky, what can you? Expect I know, now? I know, it might be not be. Hang on, no, no. <laughs> At some point in time, we got to stop blaming the quarterback, okay? Because Hopkins never had a good quarterback his life until uh, okay, he found Watson, true, true, and he was one true. of the best receivers in the world. Allen Robinson played with Trubisky and was really good last year. Also played with Blake Bortles before that was really good. So at at some point in time, we got to stop blaming the damn quarterback. Receivers are good. I want Anthony Miller to be good. He hadn't been yet. No, 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 bust. not yet. Hey, let me. He got drafted. Bust. Let me let me dive in here right quick on this comment. Damian jumps in and said Washington can go nine and seven or even eleven and five if Haskins stays healthy because that O line is uh, is still questionable, especially at tight end. You think they could go nine and seven or eleven and five? I don't know. No, I, I don't think that, and I don't think there's any way on earth Haskins is that good. I'd love to be proven wrong about that, but I just don't think Haskins is that good. Uh, Joseph said no one's letting their vets go with COVID still around, but Paxton Lynch is still in the league, so who really knows? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's in that Christ. locker room over at, uh, over in Pittsburgh. And that's the way it goes. Paxton's seven-foot-tall dead ass. Yeah, DFS jumps in. Zero chance that they go 9-7 or 11-5. or five. It, that, This, this team ain't built yet. It's just not no. there. No, I know that. I just, But the, I don't think they're going to be in the cellar. I don't I, think I so think, either. I think they're going to be picking in the teens and in the mid-teens next year. Yep. And I, I think there's a really good chance they finish second in this division. I wish I could get odds on them finishing second in the division. Yeah. You can't find that. You can only find the winner for everything. I, I, There's no snowball chance in hell of them winning it. If I'm right about the Eagles, if I'm right about the Giants, I'm right about Washington, they're finishing number two. <laughs> DFS said, I'll reverse my vasectomy if that happens. Like if they go nine and seven. If they, go, if they win 11 games, 
Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big yeah. <laughs> any way on earth that's happening. No, I think there's no chance. I think there is no chance. All right. All right, we made it through an hour. We got Let's eight go. more teams done. We're going to knock out some more again next week before the season begins. Uh, I think, uh, let's see, <laughs> Damien said, what the hell? Why are y'all still bringing up Trubisky? Like, hey, man, he's on your team. What do you want me because to do? Because he is still considered possibly your starting quarterback. Yeah. it's and it's Until ridiculous. somebody comes out and, sa- and waves the white flag, I'm going to think there's a really good chance he might start the season. It's entirely possible. It is entirely possible. All right. Everybody, if you would, do us a favor. Go, go over to the Sportsbook Review YouTube page. Make sure that you are subscribed. We will be going live over there tomorrow at 10 a.m. discussing the day's college football games. We got some FBS FCS games. We got some fun ones that evening. And look, we even got a little, you know, I guess we'll call it Pac-12 after dark, but we're we going to call it Conference USA after dark with UTEP playing at like 9 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night. So, we got some games tomorrow. We're going to discuss them. We're going to get ready to rock and roll. And make sure that you are subscribed to that channel. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. And make sure you are subscribed to our podcast and you go over to winningcureseverything.com. We are going to knock out all of our NFL picks, all of our NFL talk and whatnot over here. We're still going to talk NBA, all that kind of stuff. Man, it's uh, it, it's going to be a good season. I am ready for football. It, a, uh, Damien said, hey, Gary, at least Trubisky doesn't do hit and runs with his motorcycle like Big Ben. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, no. There's no doubt Mitchell Trubisky is a way better person than Big Ben. I, I mean, Like, that's, like I don't a think that's million unlikely. times better person than Big Ben. Has ever been. I, ever. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Look, I'm not, not a big, close. big I'm not a massive Big Ben fan. I don't I don't care. He just plays for the team be. I like. He shouldn't be. He's terrible. Either uh, way. We got a little bit of breaking news, so college football related. What do we have? TCU SMU two weeks from now. No, no, postponed no. Postponed already. That's next Friday. Well, all right, not anymore. It's postponed? It's been postponed. The Horn Frogs have a spike in COVID. <sighs> so this is the first domino to fall, and all those who don't want football are gonna be claiming this a victory well let them claim it because i watched football last night between that's right and i'm gonna watch it tomorrow damn it you got that right we are having college football damn it let's do this all right like i said sbr's youtube page sbrpicks.com slash ncaaf winning cures everything.com make sure you are subscribed to the podcast leave a nice five-star review help us out all you guys that jumped in the chat dfs damian joseph uh matt miller I mean, all these guys, right? Uh, ben, et cetera. You. Thank you guys so you. much for jumping in and being part of the show. We appreciate you very, very much. Uh, make sure you check out the uh, SBR NFL page, um, sbrpicks.com slash NFL. Kyle is over on their YouTube channel doing the NFL stuff with our buddy Donnie. They are fantastic. They are going through their previews as well. If you want to hear what they have to say, they might be smarter than we are. I mean, no, it's, it's no, possible. No. I mean, I, I'm just saying. Nah. I'm just saying. Either way. Go check out all the stuff that SBR has got for you. You can find it all, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. It'll take you to everything else, too. So knock that out. You guys have been great. We uh, we are going to go ahead and cut this thing off. We hope that you all have wonderful weekends. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment.